Hey guys, do you want to know how to make your very own soil probe for about 20 bucks? Well, keep watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this simple but very useful soil probe, a tool I consider to be extremely important in having a great lawn. And hey, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so you stay on top of all my future content. So in a previous video, uh, I showed how using a probe like this was great for drawing out soil samples to um, gather up and test for pH level in your lawn because um, it is important that you grab your soil samples from a certain depth um, and from there you can determine whether or not it's time to you know throw down a, a, an application of lime or something. Um, so in addition to gathering up soil samples for you know doing pH tests uh, you can also use a, a soil probe like this to basically draw out cores or cutaways of your soil to you know examine or study the soil structure. Uh, basically what you'd be looking at is like the depth of the organic material or basically how deep is your topsoil. Uh, another great advantage of looking at your cores is to determine how deep the roots are growing for your lawn. Um, and another great thing would be to see uh, you know the density of the thatch that might be growing on top of the of the soil uh, you can pick away and kind of poke and prod and see if there's you know substantial amount of thatch that's that's there and then you can determine whether or not it's time to you know run a thatch uh, a dethatcher on your lawn um, and if you time it right you can also determine how deep the moisture is getting um, you know if from your irrigation system you know by looking at how dry the soil is how deep it goes so I mean these things have a, a lot of advantages um, it's a great tool for studying what's really going on below the surface. Now in order to make one of these, um, it's going to take you about 20 minutes and it's going to cost you probably under 20 bucks. Uh, I picked up all my parts at a, a Lowe's or a Home Depot or you, you know you can pretty much get them at any local hardware store. It's standard, um, standard pipe parts. Um, I'm going to leave a, a list of the specifics in my description, um, but I'll tell you straight out, it's basically a three-quarter inch by two-foot piece of black iron pipe threaded at both ends. There is a T, which is three-quarter by half by half. Um, there are two half-inch by four-and-a-half nipples, again threaded both ends, and then two half-inch caps. Um, it's going to take about five minutes to do assemble this thing and then uh, probably another 15-20 minutes to um, you know make the cut for the notch in order to extract the soil sample once you've probed the ground. Um, so let's get started. So assembly of this is pretty um, straightforward. You're basically just um, making a, a T-shaped handle um, on top of the the larger black pipe here. Um, I'm just going to dry fit everything together pretty quick. That's it. So once you've got this T-shape kind of put together here, um, snug everything up with a wrench. Uh, you don't have to go overboard. This isn't a, a gas fitting or anything. You don't have to worry about any, you know, over tightening or anything you just kind of want it held together so that it doesn't fall apart um, so go ahead and just snug everything up uh, with a wrench and then we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, part that probably is a little bit more complicated um, you can do this with a couple of tools you can either use a sawzall or you can use a, a grinder uh, if you got a cutoff wheel uh, me personally um, I prefer using a grinder I think the cuts are a little bit more accurate um, but like I said, you can use a sawzall, uh, and basically what you're trying to do is just cut a notch. Um, I'm going to say, you know, maybe 8 to 10 inches long um, at the bottom of the pipe here. Uh, you want to keep the notch um, about 2 inches away from the end, uh, just to, so that the, um, you know, it, it still maintains its, like, structure stability here at the end as you're trying to push it in the ground. Um, but what you're trying to do is cut this notch, um, you know, evenly halfway through the pipe, um, so that it you know basically exposes that core and then you're able to draw that soil out of there um, after you pull it out of the ground. Um, so I'm going to snug everything up. I'm going to put this into a vise uh, and then we can go ahead and make our cuts.
So once you cut the notch in your pipe, uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is basically just run these threads uh, over a, like a, for me, I'm gonna use a bench grinder, but you can use um, an angle grinder as well, like you'd use to make the, uh, the notch. And what you, like I said, what you're trying to do is basically just take these threads down and kind of sharpen this edge a little bit, make it more like a blade. You don't want it overly sharp because you are going to have to uh, use your finger to push the soil uh, sample core, you know, into the uh, into the notch once you pull it out of the ground. Um, you want it sharp enough though so that you can basically push it into the ground without any real resistance. So there you have it, um, nice sharp um, blade that hopefully you'll be able to push right into the ground. One last step I do recommend you do if you have the right tools is to run a file down these cuts that you've made to make this notch. Uh, you are going to be, you know, sticking your hand in here to remove that soil sample and the last thing you want to do is cut your finger while you're trying to, uh, you know, work on your lawn. So that's pretty much it. Um, basically, um, you can see here that I've got the cutout right here in, in the uh, pipe. So that way you can extract the soil sample once you pulled it out of the ground. And the end right here has been filed down so that it's, you know, just slightly a little bit sharper uh, and just easier to push into the ground. Um, that's it. Basically, it took me about 20 minutes to make one of these things. And like I said, it cost me about under 20 bucks worth of parts. I've gone online. I, I saw these things at first, uh, anywhere from you know sixty bucks to like one hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, once I saw that, I, I knew right away I could I could easily make one of these for you know some some local parts you can pick up anywhere. So here is a perfect example of uh, a core that I just extracted out of my lawn. Um, you can see here. Uh, you can you know see how far down the organic material goes. Uh, you can see. Um, you know the, the thatch material that you that you have here at the top um, you know if you look carefully you can kind of trace down and see uh, how far down the roots are going and you know obviously you can feel uh, the moisture content and how far down it's going so thanks for watching guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you stay on top of all the new video content I have coming out